Welcome to the Cube Control installation demo. While with latest Minikube releases, the Cube Control command line tool is installed and configured automatically on the Minikube virtual machine, it is often more practical to have the Cube Control command line tool available on our workstation. When used from the Minikube VM, it requires additional typing and it is less flexible than the Cube Control command used directly from our workstation. In this video, we demonstrate how to install Cube Control on our workstation, validate its configuration, and display high level information about our Minikube Kubernetes cluster. Let's download the latest Cube Control package, make it executable, and add it to our path. Now let's display our Kubernetes cluster status and ensure it is running. If it is stopped, then issue the minikube start command to start your cluster. Now with the, start, the cluster running, we can run kube control commands against the cluster. So let's display the kube controls version. So it is, we, we see that it is version 119.2. Now let's display Cube Control's configuration file, the Cube config file. This configuration file stores the API server's endpoint, certificates, keys, and context data allowing the Minikube user, the cluster administrator, to securely access the API server of the Kubernetes cluster through the kube control command line tool. Now let's display a list of default running services in our Kubernetes cluster. The output shows endpoints for the API server and the DNS service. Now in later chapters, we will use kube control again to manage containerized applications in our Kubernetes cluster. So for now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.